with the transversal spinalis muscle on both sides of the spinous processes removed. And the spinous processes and laminae cleaned. Perform the laminectomy using a striker saw. As can be seen on this isolated vertebra, this is accomplished by cutting through the lateralmost parts of the laminae on both sides of the thoracic vertebrae. In the lumbar region, cuts should be made between the mammillary and transverse processes. The key to a successful laminectomy is to make the cuts as far lateral as possible and at a 30 to 40 degree angle. With the laminectomy completed, remove the spinous processes and the laminae from T8 to L4 as one unit. On this close-up of the disarticulated spinous processes and laminae, one can see more clearly the spinous processes and the interspinous ligaments as well as the supraspinous ligament. On the internal surfaces, one can see more clearly the yellow ligamenta flava running between the laminae.